Hey guys, this is Dr. Dilip and uh, with me right now is Dr. Abhirup Panda and he has scored 163 in the recent FMG July 2024 exam. And yes, of course, uh, it's one of the toughest exams to crack as far as I know. And let us welcome Dr. Abhirup. First of all, hearty congratulations, Dr. Abhirup. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Sayulam Academy. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank because uh, you invited me in this uh, such admirable Our pleasure, Our pleasure. <laughs> yeah. And how are you feeling now? Because I know, as I said in the beginning, it's one of the toughest exams right now in the country because the standard of FMG questions right now has gone phenomenally up the last two, three yes, years. Sir. Yes, and sir. You must be feeling Especially really Especially the options are very confusing in the examination. And it's really, I'm feeling so blessed now. <laughs> Ultimately, I am able to, you know, uh, overcome the hurdles of the FMG. <laughs> Anyway, because this is so much challenging mentally also. Not only mentally, even physically as well as like it's very tasking job. So maybe you're uh, learning something in a different country and come yes, to sir. altogether a different country. That's why I always say like uh, people when they come back to India, they feel like they are alienized many times. Yes. And they are yes, studying something exactly. from what they are used to and uh, going through all the hardships and uh, Cracking such an exam is not an easy deal at all. Like, I mean, previously there was a time where people used to think that FMG exam is an easy nut to crack. And people like, I can't even crack FMG exam. But no longer we can say like that anymore. But it's, yes, it's, sir. it's not the toughest exam. It's it's very similar to NEET PG actually. This is no, no, I, would, I would actually rate based on the circumstances. If you ask me, I would rate that it's like more tougher than the NEET PG exam. Yes, sir, obviously. Questions wise. Questions wise, if you look at it, it's more tougher. The only difference is it's a qualification exam and that's a competitive exam. That's the competitive only exam, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Apart from that, like it's even more challenging based on the circumstances you guys are in. Like it's an even more challenging exam. Exactly, sir. And yes, of course, no interview will be complete unless until we talk about the candidate's preparation strategy. So yes, what is the preparation strategy and uh, how did you do well in the exam? You can tell uh, me the Sir, my strategy was very simple, first of all. And actually, I started PPR very late. Uh, I think I took almost one month and 15 days or 20 days of preparation, actually. Uh, and then I mostly I started with the most important PYQ topics. Uh, and then in, for every subject, I do the BTR. I <clears throat> Though I, the, I am a new subscriber of the BTR, I, I was not able to clear I mean, finish all the BTR lectures, but I was able to finish uh, the uh, rapid revision of the BTR, which one is the, uh, um, at the last, ma'am had already recorded one. And that one I did. And uh, <clears throat> honestly, that BTR is awesome. Like in the examinations, I was really confident that I can make it. Even if um, uh, my preparation was, you know, a little bit uh, late, so I was not able to clear uh, means uh, study and completed all my topics. So that's why I was a little bit, you know, just uh, more of surface area. So some questions got missed out. So that was the main problem. Otherwise, uh, I would say that uh, BTR is something that everyone should, you know, know the topics actually because that is the most hardcore topic. Without those topics, we cannot enter into the examination. Room. True. Absolutely. Yes. And yes, now uh, what has happened is BTR has like become like a base for any preparation. I mean, the last two, three years, that's what I'm seeing. So every yes. student has BTR as a base. To begin with, they start, everyone starts with BTR and they pile up on more information on top of that. I mean, exactly, like, sir. Exactly. Like because what is happening. Since yeah. there was less time, so we have to go for the shortest one, the shortest strategy. Yeah, so even you guys, like uh, when you come, so you are you guys are always in a sort of pressure. Yes, sir, actually. Very fast. And that too, when you want to study something all altogether uh, new stuff. So it becomes really tough. And that is where courses like BTR come into play. So you can yes. cover a lot of information in a very short amount of time. Short moment of time. Yeah, actually, for the, for the major subjects, I had my own handwritten notes. That was uh, that means uh, that major four subjects and of the and in those six subjects. I had my own notes, which I had followed. 
rest of all the subjects i did it from vtr only okay so only for the major subjects you read your notes yeah i read my notes and vtr also i did for those subjects okay. yeah but but majorly i i would say almost every questions from those topics uh, from those high yield topics came in the examinations yeah i am reading the topic after, after, right, after yeah. the examination i was feeling like oh my god i should have finished that vtr <laughs> means uh, it was like uh, you know tense for me <laughs> yeah no uh, that's the strategy in any exam so you cannot miss out on the high yielding topics because exactly. over and over again every single exam whether you take like neat pg or ini ct or maybe fmg or even upsc cms that was concluded recently so examiner keeps asking from the same topics over and over again n number of times so that's the usual strategy for any exam and glad that worked so what are the next plans now sir uh, next plans is to go for pg and again come to this meeting after the neat pg that is the only plan now <laughs> okay so yes now actor succeeding in a qualification exam now you are entering a competitive arena yes sir like it's the I'm next going, it's but anyway already one base is done already so i just now work i have to work on it to make it more sharper and in the run to the race course <laughs> yeah obviously like uh, this is a kind of a racing field nowadays like you have to keep racing over and over again so you are not done with your fmg then you have to com- compete for your neat pg then once it's done you have to compete for your ss if you wish to yes sir yes sir exactly so that once you finish your ss you need to compete with your like fellow mates fellow mates <laughs> yeah 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 so it keeps going on and on but you can take just one day at a time and more importantly i would say right now you can take a break for another couple of weeks and enjoy thoroughly yes sir that's Because what really, i'm doing now i mean you guys really deserve it you need that two three weeks of like a complete off you go somewhere you just take rest you be happy you spend time for time upon yourself yes sir sure i mean already you must be doing that yeah already i started i book tickets also yeah yeah you deserve it you deserve it. because anyway <laughs> like uh, my hearty congratulations once again dr adru thank you so much sir hopefully you, like uh, we'll do another interview after once you com- uh, complete your neat pg exam yeah much 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 awaited yeah you will you will you will definitely keep preparing keep doing well yes. all the very best thank you thank you so much sir yeah it's nice to talk to you yeah again we as a cerebellum team we are always with you yes sir that that btr sir i am never going to leave from my life <laughs> i will live like i am going to make it a habit to you know study btr because it feels an uh, you know a excess amount of oxytocin <laughs> <laughs> okay okay cool yeah so that's why i said we as a cerebellum team are never going to leave you so your preparation is going to continue with us for long yes sir yes for sure for sure okay take care all the very best thank you thank you so much sir see you doctor bye okay. see you bye